Hello, lovely one. Well, today I want to talk to you about that feeling or even the knowing that you are meant for more. I'm not talking about the kind of more that is more than other people have got. It's actually this feeling that you have has got nothing to do with anybody else's life. It may have been stirred within you by other people and seeing other people either live the same day over and over again, or maybe even you feel you've been doing that, or that you have given all that you want to to a particular career and you're ready to do something that creates more of an impact in the world than you're able to make from your current role or job. These conversations always feel better with a hot cup of tea, don't they? So the meant for more, I suppose, gives us an opportunity to create a new season in our life or even to season our current life. And what do I mean by season your current life? season it with an evaluation of what do I currently want more of? Do I want more connection? Do I want more love, more laughter, more peace, more self-care, more respect, uh, more adventure, more growth, more being, more lightness, more depth, more opportunity, more cake, <laughs> more space, more gardening, more swimming, more painting. What is it within your life? What could you season your life with right now that would fuel your heart with a sense of meaning? And then there's the other meant for more in terms of stepping into another season in your life. It could be that the children have left home or it could be, as I've said earlier, that you've been on a career ladder and you feel like you've given all that you want to or all that you can do to an organisation, a company, a job, a role, a team. And there's just a calling that you have to step out and do something that has more meaning to you and more, um, maybe it involves travel, there's a plane going over right now, but more, um, makes more sense for you to do based on your life's journey, whether, whether your life's journey um, starts from when you were a child or the challenges you've faced in your life. And perhaps you're just thinking, yes, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what I'm meant for. I don't know what my purpose really looks like. And what I can share with you is some, just some questions that might help unlock the answers in your own mind. That's, and, and it's a you, it's really specific to you. It's got nothing to do with what anybody else is doing or having to fill a void. It's about unlocking it from within and um, connecting you with your purpose. The question that changed my life beyond recognition, you might know this already, is what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? Another question could be, what would you do if you were fueled with confidence and self-belief and self-trust? What would you do if money was no object? What um, injustice rattles you that you feel you could be part of the solution? What legacy would you like to leave behind? What would you like people to say about you and how you lived your life? Sometimes answering that question can just help lead into, well, what would that look like? And imagine that you, a friend of mine, Sammy Garrity, um, uses this. Imagine that we're sat together on a cloud, feet dangling over the edge, looking down at your life. What are the highlights that we are watching? and talking about, laughing about, being inspired about. What does that look like? 
What impact and difference do you want to make? What do you feel humanity needs right now? There are so many questions and I know they tend to lean more towards being in service. And sometimes that's what makes us feel valued in and respected in and, and actually brings us a sense of peace. But once you've unlocked those answers from your mind for your life, just write them down. And as you're thinking them, write them down. Don't, don't challenge them. At the exploring the answer stage is not the time to challenge, shrink or edit. Just get it on a piece of paper and then leave it alone. It might be a massive piece of paper. There might be lots coming through. But just replay this video and these questions. Pause on a question that resonates with you. I've given quite a few questions there because not everyone feels a fit for you. So pick the one that resonates with you. There might be a few that resonate with you and start to just see what, what your unconscious mind brings into your consciousness and write it down. And just know that if your mind can create it and show you it, it can build the inner machine, the inner confidence, the inner resilience, the courage, the belief, the energy to go for it. But first must come the vision and then your unconscious mind knows what, what it needs to strengthen, heighten, enhance within you for you to be in that reality, that new season. I'd love to know how you get on. If you need any help, just reach out, but um, enjoy the process. Lots of love. Mm.